Welcome to Catania, a city in Sicily with a somewhat gritty reputation. Catania is more than just that. It's full of beautiful architecture, incredible and delicious food, and of course, vibrant and friendly people. It was our goal to set out and explore all of what makes Catania a truly underrated hidden gem in Italy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If Catania isn't on your must-visit list, hopefully by the end of this video, we can convince you to put it right at the top. Uh, Andiamo a Catania. Andiamo a Catania. Catania. Perché è sempre più bello. After arriving in the early afternoon, we set out with our incredible hosts to go and try some of Catania's most iconic and traditional foods. However, before we set out, they had to set us right on how to pronounce the iconic stuffed rice ball that Sicily's known for. So when in Catania, make sure you say Arancino. We are here with our friends now. Take arancino, just arancino. Arancino, da non se arancina. arancina. Only arancino. Arancino, non se arancina in Catania. Buona fortuna. Porta fortuna. Qua <laughs> Catania e Botarga, le uova di tonno. Piatto. È buono! Gli stellati non sanno mai niente. No. Huh? Really For you, okay, you know eat fish. This is parmigiana, the fish is spada. No. <laughs> it's the best ever, right? Best fish I've ever had, just these two bites. I've never had fish like this. Let's say that you hate fish and then oh, yeah. now you love fish. Thank you, Tanya, for fixing me. Cos'è questo qua sopra? C'è il peperoncino, no, no. il piccante, sì, fresco, menta, non è abbicocca, anzalora. Ah, anzalora. anzalora. È una mela dell'Etna. Ah, ok. La mela dell'Etna piccola. In Italy, it's tradition to end your meal with a digestivo, and this olive leaf liquor was incredible and got us ready for the rest of our day. Cada dia. La gracia es esta vida Cada día Me nace nueva melodía Yo sabía Que algún día llegaría 
So pretty much, you see these columns? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they say that there was a hair quick, <coughs> and then from the hair quick, you know, they take the columns from the theater, Roman theater, and they build it. This is ah. could be a legend. They are not sure, but it's what they say. It's they, the story. The story. Cool. This is a great place to come with you. Know why? Why? Follow me. about dining here. That would be so magical. Questo è il fiume che passa giù, che hai visto giù. E poi vediamo qui, arriva qui. E questa fontana in catanese si chiama acqua o linzolo, cioè acqua al lenzuolo, perché se vedi come scende sembra un lenzuolo. had to spend some time just strolling the city and taking in all of the beautiful architecture. We love history and art, and if you do too, Catania will seriously keep you enthralled all day long. Pretty soon though, we were already working up an extra appetite, so it was time to go and try a granita, one of Sicily's most iconic snacks. Finally, after how many years? Uh, Four and a half years. Four and a half. I'm finally at my granita. Go ahead. Granita and my It's like you're thinking. <laughs> How can something be so difficult to Let's describe and so good? I swear, it is not ice cream, it's not an ice, it's like something by itself, but it's so good. Finally, finally. Refreshing with this hot it's weather. It's so hot outside, this is perfect. Try it with the brioche because the brioche is a little bit like different than the other ones we had in the past. It's kind of like, I think it has can canela. Canela. I think so. We actually spent our honeymoon in Sicily, so it has been over four years that we've both been dreaming to get back and eat more granita. Pretty much a universal rule in Italy is that one is never enough. try something a little different. It is a salt mare with salt and lemon. It is for refreshing. Refreshing. So it is here. I'm excited because I, I feel like I need a little refreshing. It right is now. Uh, I need something. warm. Huh? I need a little something. Yeah.
looks amazing. Refreshing. Super refreshing. Mm. I can taste the salt. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really good. The more you drink it, the more salty it is. I don't know if it's because all the salt like settled on yeah. the bottom and they didn't stir it up to make it dissolve. But my first sips were more of the, the limone. At the bottom, it's like really salty. Yeah, hard to finish. Really salty, yeah. It makes me want water, like real water. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm like 50-50. Yeah, 50-50, and me too. It's worth trying because it's something different, but be warned, it's very salty. So now we're gonna go to the top for the Chiesa. Chiesa di Sant. Agata. Agata. Alessia is delirious. I can try the one thing we wanted to take advantage of on this trip was to climb every church tower that we could find in order to take advantage of all of the beautiful views. Catania certainly did not disappoint because once you're at the top, you can not only see the beautiful city, but you can also get an amazing view of Mount Etna. E qua vedi Catania, dai, la piazza. It is so hot here <laughs> and so humid. I'm <laughs> sweating, but it's so worth it. It's so nice here. It's so cool. Yeah. Pittoresco. Da venire qua su, wow. To come. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. The camera don't do justice no. because we have the sun opposite to us. You can't see it well, but trust me, but Allora qua, in questa bellissima view. Prima giorno di Catania, what do you think? It's beautiful. I agree. It's a really beautiful city. I really like it so food, far. Food, amazing. Beautiful views. Beautiful views. And so far the food is amazing. On top of the world. Our first afternoon in Catania had already taken a lot out of us, so it was time to head home and get some much needed rest. How nice have the parking in the Airbnb? It's not nice of it is. Incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> and look how peaceful the parking space is. Yeah. With all the cars. And then it's uh, secure because we have a gate right there. So nobody can come inside. Sorry for the mess, but look at this. We have the bathroom. Look at the shower. Whoa. Oh, nice. Then, if you come this way, we have a terraza. Bellissimo. Oh, I love it, yeah. Wow, look at this. 
And from that direction, what is you see there is the piazza. With the Duomo? Yeah. For where we stay, they give, they give you uh, to go breakfast. It is that here in piazza. It is two minutes Two seconds, walk, not two even two seconds. minutes. One minute. Walk. One minute, yeah. Let's go. Let's I'm go excited. To do a cold breakfast because in Sicily it's cold breakfast. It's gonna be granita, Mane? Of course. One thing you have to take advantage of, no matter where you are in Sicily, is to visit a pasticceria and try as many pastries and candies as you can get your hands on. You, I got what? pistachio because it's number one, it's my favorite, but number two, it's the best. Yeah. You can't go wrong. And then you already eat a little bit of piece the brioche. Because it was brioche. warm. It was, it was warm. warm. Ready? The pistachio is always the best. Can I try? Yes, I mean, yes. Here. We're gonna try everywhere, everything. You're gonna love the pistachio. They told us to come here to take the pistachio. It's creamy, right? The granita Sicilian. I know. <laughs> and the brioche is warm, so it's like, look how soft. I eat a lot of we eat some brioche here, but this place. It's so good. It's amazing for start the day. Mercato del pesce. I don't know what to expect, honestly. The fish market in Catania is definitely one of the places that gives the city its more gritty feel, but it's definitely a must see. It is a tradition that's been going on for generations and generations. Don't mind all of the salt water on the ground, that's part of the experience. Get yourself down in the middle to explore this unique culture up close and personal. So this is a fresh um, fish. This Actually, is so cool. some are even alive in, inside, like some, uh, because are the old traditional, oh, like okay, this yeah. always fresh and. Uh, oh, you can tell it's like. Just they just got just it. this morning, <laughs> yeah. If fish isn't your favorite, don't worry. Head to the market instead to find nuts, fruits, and vegetables grown in the rich soil of Mount Etna, as well as some more peculiar Sicilian delicacies. So you know how you can tell that it's so fresh? Is the fact that it doesn't have that bad fishy smell. It only smells like salt water. Yeah. It smells delightful in there. It smells like the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. If you see, you cannot imagine if you know here. No, no. Like, you think he, he smell bad, but no. No, it doesn't smell like gross fish at all. Zero. Zero. Just salt water. Yeah.
So in this area, if you want to come to eat, every single place is good to eat. We go to MM, it was amazing, but if it's full, because it's amazing food, food so it's going to be always uh, plain, don't worry about it. Here is good, everywhere, in the umbrella, here in the park, everywhere here you eat amazing, because you have with the fish market, they buy fresh fish, so you have to come here. I swear, I I loved it and I'm so picky. And then you know, never eat fish, and you eat fish for the first time. A lot of fish. A lot of fish. Because I usually hate the fishy taste. Exactly. But because this is so fresh and so good, it doesn't have that fishy exactly. taste. Exactly. Here is just amazing. The land of the fish. And the Airbnb, no Airbnb, we found in booking. I mean, it's two seconds two away. Two seconds for downtown. So, and then you have the parking inside. So, they're the best. Like, the best. if I come back to Catania, I'm staying there, there again. Yeah. Good job, I'm on it. We knew Catania would be wonderful, but it really surprised us with its yeah. incredibly fresh food, its beautiful architecture, and its amazing and friendly people. It's a city that instantly welcomes you and makes you feel right at home. For us though, the adventure is just beginning, so it's time to head home and get some much needed rest before the next leg of our trip.